Good morning everybody. So today we're gonna be I'm gonna be going over how to strap down a triple stack and how to do it safely and uh, to do it. Now this one particularly has has a thing on the top which is the bulkhead up front. So we were going to strap that one. So we're gonna make sure to strap it down. So make sure so you guys can see it. It's all the way up there. That thing. So the first two straps that I put, they're gonna be going over that. Now, every place you're gonna get these at, uh, at a command, like just grabbing the stairs that they have down there, these stairs, and uh, so you can climb up. So that's my recommendation and be safe because it's gonna be high. So the first strap, I'm gonna try to line so my goal is, I'm gonna sh explain to you guys like when I start doing it, but my goal is to have one strap on the front over here and one strap. So there's gonna be two of them where that bulk is at. So one then two, and then I'm gonna go one over this one. And then one is gonna be over here and then one in the middle and so on. So I'll go ahead and start setting up these straps for you guys and I'll show you how I'm gonna throw them in and how I'm gonna get that done. So this is gonna be a few parts, but we'll do that. Okay, so for today, I have five 30 footers and then five 27 footers. 27 footers, I'm gonna put them on the middle trailer. The 30 footers, I'm gonna put them on top of the top trailer. I have this habit of riding whatever the size of them on the end of the straps so this way it makes it easier for me when I when I roll them up is to remember which is which it's not gonna make difference I know for you guys is not that much but if you're strapping them it's it's good to have the long ones and the short ones for the for the lower chili another thing the landing gear is lowered down as far I can go uh, and this is something you have to pay attention to because in sometimes they will have them still cranked up all the way like almost like a regular so you're gonna have to make sure that they're lowered down so this way they reduce the height that you're operating at okay so let's go ahead let's go I'm gonna start I'm gonna get these up top of there and then I'll show you guys how I'm gonna start running them down so as you guys see I can set five of them one two three four, five and the way I do it to be honest with you guys is I try to thread them through the loops all the way down and then I just run them through this bulkhead that I showed you guys in a minute. I tried to put two on it and the third one in the middle as I explained when I was done. And then I tried to thread them all the way down through the holes as much as possible. So this way it adds another rigidity to the trailer. Like stuff like this I have to do it from down there. So I'll go ahead and do it when I get lowered. Here, all the way down, and the last one is here, and then I will thread that one down there, and I'll thread this one down there. But you guys get this if you're scared of heights, this is not the most recommended thing to do. But this is the layout for the top trailer, so five of them is like this, and then the other five is gonna go on the below trailer. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how. So I threaded that on that side. Now I'm sitting here at the middle trailer, but I'll show you guys. Come on. Now a lot of people might say you put them on backward, like they have to be showing the the what do you call it the um, numbers on them. Yes, but in some way it's. Uh, I know why I'm doing it this way because of the where where I'm gonna hook up to the trailer. They're not gonna have enough meat like the way I'll show you guys when I get down there. So let me show you how I did this. So we have one strap here and one strap in front of the tires. So the one you just showed me, I, I did that. Then we have this. Then we have one here in the middle and two up front. So let me go ahead and get out and I'll show you. So I did the same thing. Now if I'm using if I'm using one of these smaller holes, 
in the hole on the other side, I would have to thread it backwards. So basically I'd have to put, start from there and then go down here because the hook will not fit through these. Only the hook will fit through the big ones. So that's one. Now, if you're going to do, put the strap here, make sure to lift up the landing gear because as soon as you have this one here, it's gonna make it harder for you to roll it up. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I tie them in on this side. So basically, as you guys saw, the reason why I have them facing this way is because the the lip on this trailer, where a lot of people might attach them, it's too thick for this. So the way I, I feed them, you have to do it backward. If you did it the other way, it will not work. So I have them feeding in like this. I'm gonna run it through like this. And then I'm gonna loop it one more time. So like this, and then I'm gonna pull it. So now it's basically biting on the inside here and it's pretty secure. So that's how they're gonna look like. I'll show you guys in the next part. So on this side now, so we have it there. We can, now we can pull it like this. Now have this lining up like this with you. You're gonna take the strap and you're gonna thread it going away from you like this. You're gonna hold it as, as like. And you're gonna start rolling it back. Okay. It's gonna roll. It's gonna roll. So it's not, it's not feeding into itself. So when you roll it and make sure it's straight. And now, this. And now it's holding. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start tying them all down. So tying them down. We'll just make this one long video. We'll just do one, and then I'll finish them up. You need a breaker bar like this. Now be careful from this. Whenever you tie them down, if it's rainy or anything, wear gloves or make sure you still have water the grip. You're gonna put it in and you're just gonna keep tucking it down until you can't torque them anymore down. Now anything that's rubbing on the tire like this is gonna maybe get rub marks maybe so i'm going to try to maybe put like uh, something in between to protect them from getting rubbed out as much as possible so now when we're done you'll feel them that they're almost now there are certain ones over time they will get loosened up like see this one because when we start torquing down it relieved it so i'm going to give this a few more turns before to do it with one handed but hey trying to get like this one needs a couple more that's good so that one so as you guys can see I tried to keep them like looped in as much as possible so if there is any shift it's gonna hold it in place so again same thing looped looped all the way through looped all the way through this is the 30 footers, it's all the way through. So now if there's any movement, it's gonna hold it in place. Same thing here, same thing here, 27 footers. So as you guys can see, two 30 footers up front, which is holding the, uh, the headboard up front. So there's two on it, and then one up there, and then one right after, then one in the middle on the top of the, 30, uh, top of the third one, one in here, one here, one up there, one there, one in the middle. So that's like a, you can say it's an overkill with the straps, but it's safer than Sai. Now all these straps, like like the one, the, the third one over there, that's when I'm, this is the last time I'm using it. You can see it has like little marks on it. So that's the last time. But one thing when you're doing this, you gotta inspect the straps to make sure everything is, is tidy, everything the way you want it. And, Everything is like tight and holding, holding it, please. You want them to be all of them like in uniform and holding in place. So, like this. So, if you guys have any questions or concern, uh, I'll make like a little tiny follow video on taking the stripes down, which is, doesn't take much time. 
the shopping part what takes the longest time and shopping the takes the shortest time thank you guys have a blessed day may god bless you all